Hello, and thank you for joining us here. This is Real Estate After Death, and you are joining me with my real estate lawyer. Thank you for being here, Raluca. Tell me what you do. Thank you for having me, Shani. So my name is Raluca Soika, and I'm the principal of RMS Estate Law. And I practice Wilson Estates and real estate law in the greater Toronto area. Well, thank you for being here because we have a very, very, very big question for you today. For anyone who hasn't been here for real estate after death, very simply, we talk about the kind of unsexy topic, but very important topic of what happens with your real estate after death, or what's probate, what's an estate, what, what is estate planning? So today's topic is all about multiple wills and what is estate planning, what is the estate planning method, and when is it used? So Raluca, please take it away. So multiple wills is an estate planning method used to reduce estate administration tax on someone's death and is very popular for business owners because um, their business has quite a significant, there's some business owners that, that have a significant value um, mm. amounted into their business and their business owns real estate as well. So Imagine the value of, of those businesses. It is also really popular for uh, people that have personal assets of great value, such as um, expensive cars, expensive jewelry, art, um, antiques, or unique kind of art that has a significant value at the, their date of death. And um, it can also be used by some property owners who fall within a narrow exception um, where they can pass the proper, their property without probate. So all of these are high ticket items. They're, they have a high value and there's therefore a lot of estate administration tax payable at, on the date of death. Mm -hmm. So because of that, um, there we apply the multiple will strategy where we create two wills operating concurrently, a primary will, and a secondary will. And think of them like two different baskets. A primary will holds all the assets that have to go through probate. And a secondary will holds all the assets that can skip probate um, or estate administration tax. So like I said, a business can be a, a part of a secondary will, which is the shares of which are not publicly traded on a stock exchange, a real estate property, expensive personal items Car, so there, there's some Car. other additional assets that can be added depending on the person's situation um and the primary will is all the assets except for these <laughs> so when the person passes away the primary will is the will that gets um probated so we the executor would apply for a state administration would apply for Yes, estate administration and pay the estate administration tax only on the assets in the primary will. And the secondary will is just, um, it doesn't go through the same process. It doesn't need to. So those assets in the secondary will can be passed to the beneficiary right away. Of course, with a hold back for any taxes or debts that the deceased has, but it bypasses that. It's a lot faster. Um, there's less estate administration conundrums to go through as the estate is being administered because it just makes everything more simple. But most importantly, um, it, there's less tax payable, less estate administration tax payable. And on a business that's worth, you know, in the millions of dollars or on some really expensive antique items, you know, there could be significant estate administration tax amassed. And that's not payable. Those money, they go to the beneficiaries instead of going to the government. So that's why we use this method of estate planning. It can also be used in combination with trusts. And but I'm not going to get into that topic, but there's different ways of um, of of applying this method. Um, but uh, that's what it's used for. And um, 
uh, most business owners opt to that are incorporated, they opt to go for this uh, estate planning strategy. So is that when it's used? It's mostly used when you do have a really big portfolio, should we say? I would say so. And so I, the, my first question to my clients is, do you have a business? And the second question is, how much do you think your business is worth? Um, some clients say, oh, it's nothing and I'm planning to wind it down. I'm going to take whatever money I have left in the business in bank accounts and I'm not really planning to do anything beyond it or corporations not really, I'm not really using it. I kind of, it's just kind of sitting on the burner. Uh, that doesn't make sense to do, to pay for an, to a, a secondary will because there will be minimal saving on on estate administration tax, and you're probably paying more for the will than the savings in the estate administration tax, so then it doesn't make sense. But when the business, when I hear things like, oh, my business owns real estate, mm -hmm. my corporation owns real estate, um, my corporation is, yeah, I can sell it on my death, and it it can be, like, it, I'm, you know, I'm not necessarily the face of it, like, it can be sold as a, as a business on my date of death, and it's valuable uh, somebody, you know, would pay money for this. It has a fair market value. Then absolutely, I would recommend, okay, let's put this in a secondary will because um, it will just save so much headache for your executors and also time and also money. So, so yeah, it, the, the value of the asset does need to be proportional to the cost of doing this estate plan. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for all of that information. That makes so much sense. And I really don't think a lot of people know about this. So thank you for being so educational and sharing with us and being kind of a pillar where people can go to, to get more information and get guidance. So if you're ever looking for an estate planner or a real estate lawyer, or anything regarding wills please reach out to Raluca. She's absolutely incredible. Um, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining us here and learning. If you have any questions, always reach out to her directly. And for now, always like, comment, and share. Thank you.